Michael Strasco, head coach of the Ottoman Boys, with us here as you guys uh, open things up there late first quarter into the second quarter, coach. 18 0 run going into halftime. How'd you do that? Um, well, you know, we, we had to buckle down defensively, um, focus on rotations, and then we had to finish shots, you know. Um, we weren't finishing real well in the first quarter, and so that was kind of difficult for us. Um, they kept working hard um, defensively, and and uh, you know we came up with some steals that helped, and we were able to box out and get a lot of big rebounds. Um, you know, if you if you work hard enough on defense, eventually the offense is going to come. So um, we came together and uh, started to come together, and. and uh, had a nice score. Lane Lawson finishes the 18 points, really battled on the boards as well. What can you say about his night? Well, I think uh, I think he came out with the right mindset. You know, everything um, starts with your mindset, I think. Uh, and he's a hard worker, you know. Um, he focused on boxing out, like he was saying before in his interview. And, and uh, you know, he, he's a high-energy guy. Um, and then he was knocking down... Um, shots that he was getting under under duress, and and uh, and then the easy ones that he gets, you know, he was knocking those down too. So he had a nice night, um, keeping his feet moving. It was a big thing. Grizzle kind of plays an aggressive uh, style a little bit, kind of tries to frustrate the opponents, and you know maybe there were some times that showed with your guys, but for the most part, you feel like you held that held things in check as best we could. Yeah, I think they're I think they're a pretty physical team. Um, they have some good size inside, and and uh, you know, I think that I think that we kind of had to give them a taste of their own medicine a little bit. We had to we had to be aggressive as well. Um, but uh, that being said, we didn't finish very well in the first quarter, and it obviously did frustrate us. Um, so uh, we settled in and, and uh, were able to get some some good looks, and and uh, a lot of times we we find a way to use. Um, over aggression against somebody so um, we got back to that and our offense settled in and, and we had a nice um, second and third quarter and then our fourth quarter was was uh, pretty good too. Tate Colleen maybe didn't have his best offensive night he did end up with 10 points but uh, I guess just is that maybe kind of part of the maturation process a little bit that he didn't necessarily force things he didn't really look to score when when other guys had things going? Yeah I mean um, you know, I didn't see I didn't see uh, places where he took the ball into into a, an obvious um, force situation. I mean, that's that's part of him understanding. You know, um, where there's opportunities and, and maybe where there's not some opportunities. He he was aggressive at times and and uh, and then and then sometimes he backed off. I think he had quite a few assists tonight. I don't know what the numbers are yet. I haven't looked at them, but I would say. He had quite a few assists, so um, usually if he's not if he's not knocking down the shot, he's finding a way to get get others involved, which is something that you need from um, a guy who touches the ball as much as Tate does. Um, Tyler's also really good, um, has a really good assist to turnover ratio. I think it's like two to one. So, um, or I don't remember what it is now. I, I don't want to quote that. All right, so. Um, Anyway, uh, you know he's he's got to f make the easy play, and I think he's he's finding a way to do that um, in between being aggressive. Is Josh Lang already had to sit there and at the end? Is that precaution? Yeah. Um, well, I, he just you know caught a caught an elbow or or a shoulder or something, you know, like basketball players tend to do, and it was right on that eyebrow line. So um, he got a he got a little cut there, but. Um, the second one of the year, actually, because he had one against uh, Missouri Valley too. So um, now that he's covered both eyes and he and he looks the same again, I think it'll, he's got that out of the system. Um, Coach, uh, that the press you use is that something you've kind of found going forward? You might be able to use that effectively, or is it just something against this opponent in particular? Uh, you know, each each game kind of takes on a life of its own. We don't, you know, I don't I don't think. We sit and uh, and plan to use a press for as long as we did tonight. We, you know, we had some success with it. We saw things that we thought we could take advantage of, and then it continued to kind of morph from there. Um, so anytime you got you put on a press, you got to be willing to take 
um, a little bit of your reins off as a coach. Um, so you got to give a lot of freedom to your guys, and and um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I might find comfortability in that um, with with some of the the opponents we have coming up, and I might not. So. Um, I'll leave, I'll leave myself in the dark on that one. To be determined. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.